Welcome. I'm your host, Angela Riley. The Screen Arts and Cultures Department, otherwise known as SAC, is a growing program here in North Quad. To keep up with the demands of its students, the SAC department has updated and revised their graduation requirements. To discuss these changes that will take place fall 2013, we are joined today by Professor Nornes. Thank you for being here today, Professor. Thank you. Now, Professor, can you please explain to me your position within the department? Well, uh, my s I teach on the study side, and I usually do documentary and Asian cinema, but at the moment, I'm also a department chair. Wow, that's an impressive position. Um, now tell me, Professor, what preempted these changes within the department? Well, um, you know, we, I can't remember when we last did curriculum, but it was a while ago, and things change, including technology, forms of moving image media, and so one of the reasons was something we called curricular drift. So you had all these classes that were named things. And over the years, the things that were being taught inside those classes sort of drifted around and went further and further from the name of the class. So in a sense, uh, the practice on the ground was looking very different than the curriculum on paper. So we wanted to bring those into line and represent um, what we do in a much more accurate way. Okay. And then another reason we did it was um, connected to a process that's been going on almost since the formation of our unit. So first, we came out of, this is going back like 25 years. Okay. Um, we came out of a really a film, film department right. that was part of communications as well. And they separated and they really became film. It was clear we had to start doing TV. And so maybe 15 years ago, we started getting more serious about television. Okay. And, um, and then digital media comes up and then becomes really important now in the last five to 10 years, right? Right, yeah. But there's this legacy of doing fi mainly film. Uh -huh. And it's all s always kind of hegemonized the other two. Mm -hmm. And so the curriculum was also an attempt to bring those s into some, a little closer to parity. Okay, I understand. Now how is the prereqs going to change? We'll still have the art of film at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have um, film theory as a prereq. Okay. Now, that used to be at the 400 level and then it moved down. And we're, it will be a 200 level class. It'll be a prerequisite, not a okay. requirement. And the reason actually is because because um, the production people really noticed that the students who went through theory first mm -hmm. did so much better in the production classes. Really? I mean, they really understood what was going on at a much more fundamental level than students who hadn't yet. Right. So making that a prereq was partly a way of preparing for production. Wow. Now, how about your minor? Has that been affected? Um, the minor is essentially the same. Okay. Yeah. Now, can you explain the minor a little bit? Because it's called Global Studies, correct? Yeah. Ha what? Can you just explain it? Well, um, one of the things, the r one of the reasons that came about was when we were growing as a program, we brought on all these professors who were particularly strong in foreign cinema, like I do Japan and uh, Asia. So, um, we thought of doing a minor that took advantage of all that faculty strength mm -hmm. and sent people to different parts of the world really think about cinema at this global level. Wow. So a lot of students from like language departments mm -hmm. take that. Okay, I understand. And so now with your minor, there's still no production classes required? No. Okay. Now explain the new classes that will be offered through this graduation requirement policy change. Um, there aren't that many actually new classes, okay. but it's like the same classes repackaged okay. with new <laughs> names. So um, on uh, one significant change is with history. Okay. So um, now students will have a, a choice between television and film history, for okay. example. Uh -huh. And the film history thing used to be divided into three courses. Now it's going to be two with the dividing line 1960. The okay. new wave, okay, French right. new wave, so like before and after that. Um, 
that's a kind of really significant change from three to two a uh, two class sequence. On the film side or the production side, um, there are new names. Okay. So there's a set at the 300 level and then a set at the 400 level. Mm -hmm. And at 300, you have dramatic narrative, mm -hmm. documentary, right. television, experimental screen, and new media. Mm -hmm. And then there's a second set at the 400 level that mirrors that. Right. But the kind of skills you get at the 300 level are designed so that you can, we, we called it portaging. Okay. Like if you started in dramatic narrative, which is essentially like single camera film, you could easily just hop over to documentary at the 400 level or right. whatever. Okay. Now will there be an increase or decrease in the credit requirements for graduation? A slight decrease. And so okay. that's another thing we wanted to do. Okay. It was a lot of credits. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. How will the new changes benefit students? Um, I think for one thing, when you look at the curriculum now, it makes a lot more sense, almost at first glance. Okay. I think it was just a little, it was getting confusing. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, you know, we're only getting used to this right now. We'll see if it's less confusing or not. But right. that's, that's one thing. Okay. Um, I think it's, um, I, I think bumping theory down to an earlier point in their mm -hmm. career is right. also going to really benefit them throughout. Now, when you go, when you come together as a, you know, as an administration and you say, okay, we need to make a pol we need to change our policies, how does that process work? How long did it take you to realize <laughs> this is what you need to do and all agree on everything? Um, <coughs> You know, it's a moment when you can recraft yourself, mm -hmm. and it, that takes a lot of discussion. Yeah. And we started this really uh, like four years ago. Really? Wow. Mm. Th that's quite a long time. There's a lot of detail. A lot of meetings. <laughs> you know, I, I should have brought in a map. So we were making maps about, you know, sort of thinking about our shape and uh -huh. who we are. Uh -huh. I mean, a lot of it was a discussion about who, our self-identity, and then what kind of student we want to see at the end of this process, right? Right. So now, have you seen a growth in the SAC department over the years? Um, I think our students are still about, I mean, the same kind of student. They're incredible, they're really good, <laughs> they're hardcore, and they have to be because um, they're all the screenings, right. and it's a really demanding major, right? Yeah, it really is. Yeah. <laughs> and so you have to really want to do it. Yes. You, you can't just like, drift through. No, you cannot. No. And that keeps our numbers down. Yeah, okay. So we're, you know, there are some places where they have to have portfolios mm -hmm. and application processes and all right. that, but I think it's kind of self-selecting. We get students who are really ambitious and really want to do it, right. and the ones who aren't ready for that kind of commitment don't do it. Yeah. So we're, s we're kind of steady, you know? Yeah. Now, the prereqs, is there no application process now? It's just you want to become a SAC major, you just yeah. take the prereqs and you can be declared. That's right. Now, is there anything else you would like to add? Well, I think that pretty much covers it. Okay, great. Thank you for being with us, Professor. Now, as you can see, with exciting new classes to offer, the SAC department is hard at work to ensure students will be ready when they enter the workforce. For more information on the department and their policy changes, visit their website at umich.edu forward slash SAC. I'm your host, Angela Riley. Thanks for watching.